Hello, uh, welcome to a how to show basic um, demonstration of how to bring in your check your asset in Momasa tool bag and also how to do a basic look dev inside of here. Um, you can texture in Momaset tool bag for, but we're not going to cover that at this time. We're just going to bring in our texture that we exported from System Painter and then we're going to bring it inside of uh, here and do the setup in our lights present our model and so forth. So here we go. So first thing first, we're gonna bring in your model. So you just go import and I save mine here and the surface of one object and bucket low four. And here is my asset. Um, I'm gonna delete the default shader because I have a bucket main shader that I already named in Maya and I brought, that's how I brought it into Southern Painter and that's how I brought it into um mama said here you could also double click on it and rename it everything you want just to keep it um organized to how you want it right uh you could click on sky if you don't want this overly white background you could click on it and just change it to like color so you get a good better look at it now you're wondering how do i bring in my texture over here to click on the shader right here you're gonna see these slots here so I'm just gonna double click in here and then I'm gonna to navigate towards where I save the shader, uh, my maps. And here's where I'm bringing my normal map first. Uh, right now, you can see some stuff, some funny stuff going on here. It means the normal map is not flipped correctly. You just choose flip Y and there we go. Uh, next move we're gonna do, we're gonna bring in an Albino map. So this is the color map, you bring it in and there we go. Uh, we're gonna bring in the roughness map. It's a pack map because we're using when we when we exported Microsoft Painter, we're using our uh, Unreal Engine export template preset thing, right? So that's why it comes out as a pack map, and it has I'm an occlusion, it has roughness, and it has metallic. So this one is uh, I believe G, G, and I'm gonna go here, select the for metallic, and metallic is B. So here we go already, just like that, you have your asset looking good. Um, how to add lights, how to move around in Mama Set is just like Photoshop, it's just like um, in Maya, and it's just like in um, Southern Painter. It's the same move, how to get the move tools and stuff, it's like W, E, R, T, it's the same thing as in Maya. So in case you're wondering how to navigate through this thing, that's how simple it is. Um, okay, so I like to create uh, right here, um, go to the render, I turn on ray trace, and I like to turn on ambient occlusion, and I like to crank it up to max, right? After I crank it up to max, I like to, um, create a new camera and I just call this shot cam and then go back to the render settings and down here I want to add this camera no this one add this one and I want to disable the old one so this is my camera and um, in here if you want to add lights if you left click in here you see as a light and then you could select the light itself and press W to move it out. And just like you could like press E for the rotate tool, and you can rotate your light, you know, illuminate your object and all that kind of stuff. Just like that. All right. So the next move we're gonna do, we'll go to the camera, we're gonna turn on um safe safe frame and just bring it in like that, right? All right, cool. So we're so we're good. We're gonna go. If you want to render out like a single image, you select your render, and then you uh, click here. And I'm gonna override this bucket that I have here. So I call it the bucket bucket zero zero text test bucket zero one cam. And I re, re, I'm gonna replace that. I could choose to override it and keep rendering and then etc. It will just override the other image. So if I change this position to here, render, render, it's overriding. But if you want to like 
do like one for version one, one for version two. You could you could just individually go here and like do your thing uh, that way. All right. So I want a transparent background. So I'm gonna click on here and then I'm gonna do a render. All right. So where does that save? Here it is on my desktop. And if I bring this into Photoshop, this is where it at. I already created like a 50% gray background and it's right there where you could like do multiple render angles and it's as easy as that, right? I'm gonna go to the part. If you wanna do a turntable of this, um, you go to, I think it's scene, add objects, scene, scene, add objects, turntable. And you will click on the animate tab. And then if you press play, no, it's not going to work. You have to grab the thing, the bucket and drag and drop it inside of the turntable. And this is what's going to happen. So you have a turntable going on there. All right. So now if you want, and also you have to change this to the camera, shot camera, like that. Right, you go into render settings. I think render settings, you could put it back up here. Um, you could select it and um, go down here. Do you see it has a video side? I'm gonna say this, it's, got, it's gonna be a MP4. So I'm gonna say test bucket render um, underscore TP for turntable. So I'm going to say save, and then I'm going to click on render video. So it's doing this thing. It'll take a while to render. It's only a bucket, but it does take a while to render, right? OK. So it's doing this thing. Okay, so now it's done, and we're just going <coughs> to click on the, the test turntable here, and there you go. Turntable is done, and uh, that's how you do it. So that's um, enough tips for today. Uh, there's tons more stuff you could do with Marvel Set. Um, you know, you could bring in even characters and stuff like that, uh, but... I'll I'll like show how to bring it. I'll show how to deal with that in like another video. Like hopefully I have a character, especially with subsurface scattering and stuff like that. Um, I think it has something to do with like um, let's see. Uh, it's one of these uh, channels over here that has to do with subsurface scattering and all that kind of stuff. But in this case, it's just an old bucket with a metal wood with a metal and that's it right but this should be enough to get you up and running and rendering out images and stuff for your portfolio um yep yeah, please leave a like comment share all right look out for more videos uh from uh Dratis. thank you